What's up guys? Welcome to Greenland. So uh, I just wanted to take a minute here and climb up on one of these beautiful, beautiful mountains in this amazing country. Um, I figured I would talk to you guys a little bit about how I even got here in the first place. And uh, the short story is I, uh, well, the short story is that fly tying got me here which is uh, kind of crazy because I never thought that fly tying would bring me to Greenland to film some stuff uh, in collaboration with Eric Hooks and get away fly fishing which, which I will show you guys more about in this uh, small vlog from up here but uh, to get back to the story um, it kind of started as I uh, called up a friend and asked what he was doing um, if he wanted to drink a beer or just hang out and he told me he was tying flies with a couple of friends and uh, I was more than welcome to join him so that's what I did and I, I watched it a little bit and I thought it was a bit weird actually um, because they called it flies and they were, were tying coastal flies and well if you hear the word fly you think of a small black insect with wings and uh, a coast fly is nowhere near that so that was pretty weird and uh, eventually he, he asked me if I wanted to try it out and uh, that's what I did and I just loved it from the beginning and then I couldn't stop I ended up buying um, some tying materials and a, a really cheap vise and uh, before I knew it I was tying every day at least two hours I think and watching tutorials on the internet day in day out for a year or something like that and then I started posting um, a couple of flies on my Instagram account and then people started commenting and liking it and a community kind of grew from there and um, a year later uh, Eric's hooks popped up uh, on Instagram as well and uh, I wrote them and, and said I was interested in the hooks and uh, Martin, the owner, he uh, responded that he wanted to send me some hooks, and uh, so he did. And it's kind of been like a, a roller coaster ride from there. Uh, if you're familiar with his uh, with the stuff over on Eric's, um, it's just the passion for for the fly fishing and fly tying game. So uh, if you if you don't know them, I'll link it below. You can go over there and have a look. Um, on the side of this whole fly tying thing, I kind of developed, uh, I've talked about this before, I developed a passion or a, an interest in photography and cinematography. So uh, that's uh, kind of what I've been doing the last two or three years, practicing every free minute I have or studying tutorials on YouTube or on the elsewhere on the internet. So. Uh, now I'm here and it's it's amazing and I can't really get it into my head that I that I get to be here and uh, I actually went up here yesterday and had myself a little weep uh, because it is just mind-blowing what you can what you can achieve if you uh, if you put in the hours and you work a little bit for it and uh, well I also miss my kids and my wife back home so uh, I guess I will take you guys out tomorrow and show you a little a little bit more of this amazing place and uh, hopefully we can catch some fish um, I just wanted to get this off my chest so uh, thank you guys for listening in and uh, I will see you in the morning
guys. So it's five o'clock in the morning and uh, a small boat just drove us up here as it does every morning. And we start our long hike through the mountains. Uh, it's a pretty long hike, like five or maybe even seven kilometers each way. So I, I might get into shape just a little bit over these days. But anyway, I think I'll just fast forward the entire walk here to spare you guys and I will see you at the water. Right, so uh, just build up our camp here. Started the filming. Let me show you guys around a bit. So you might know these two handsome fellows here from Eric Hooks. Morden is setting up camera, that's Sean. Way out there is Thomas from Getaway Tours and the guide Eric trying to catch some fish. What's up Eric? Good fish? Yeah, it's alright. The fly just landed in the water, one three for a boom. Nice. Fat one. Yeah. Really fat. Almost as tall as as he <laughs> long. As he is long. That was a big one. It's really fat. Ooh. That's how they should look. <laughs> so as Eric here is landing, landing his fish. Uh, Thomas here has one on as well. So uh, the morning is starting out pretty good. So beautiful, these fish. <laughs> Which fish is, fish is bigger? Eric's fish is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a hero shot. Right, 
so the morning is starting out pretty decent here um, I figured I'd just tell you guys a little bit about what we're doing up here um, we're making some footage for advertisement and whatnot for uh, getaway tours in a collaboration with the guys over from Eric's Hooks and uh, yeah, I told you guys a little bit about how it happened that I got up here, so no need to do that again. Um, the basic idea of this fishing here is, um, well, they use a lot of streamers, even nymphs, but uh, the coolest thing is to uh, fish these big foam flies and just skate them across the, the, the river and uh, these big arctic char jump straight forward and slam these foam flies which is a really unique and cool experience um, so that's what we're try trying to uh, capture up here and uh, well we got a lot of great footage in the can already so you guys will definitely be seeing a lot more to that um, so back to work and uh, hopefully I get to fish a little bit myself in a few hours and uh, I see you there so one of the best things about this place is you can drink the water straight out of the river and uh, make some coffee with that water so uh, get ready for some smooth footage of coffee from the okay. river day of filming is coming to an end and it's time for me and uh, Søren and Morten to do some fishing on our own so uh, hopefully I can catch some fish here on camera and show you guys because they are so beautiful fast So pretty. Let's get another one. Woo! This is really intense.
right over to you, son. I can't see the thing of plastic. So, uh, son got tired of me not catching any fish. Or at least I, I catch them, but I can't seem to land them. So, son's having a go here. And this, this river is just so full of fish. Beautiful big red fish. Never seen anything like it. And in a scenery like this, it's just absolutely epic to, uh, to be able to fish something like this. I don't think it's working, son. They're just as bad as me. So fishing has kind of slowed down a little bit. It tends to happen around 12 o'clock in the middle of the day where uh, the sun is at its highest. It gets pretty hard to catch them at least on foam flies and that's what this is all about almost. So uh, I guess we'll just head back home to the lodge and have a look what the chef is cooking and I can't wait to show you guys the lodge because we thought we were uh, staying in tents or something like that and we came up here and was it was just Pure luxury, big lodge, toilets, and uh, a really, really great chef. So let's head back home and I'll show you guys around. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much to all the people involved in this entire project for making it happen. Arex Hooks, I love you guys very much. Getaway Tours, thank you so much for uh, making, making this happen. And uh, most and foremost, thank you to all of you guys out there subscribing and watching and commenting every video I make. It really, really means the world to me. So tomorrow uh, a boat will come and pick us all up and we will be uh, sailing towards Sisimut where we will be spending the night and then the morning after, that would be Friday, we will be picked up by an airplane and then we will fly all the way to Copenhagen. I will jump on a train and go home to my wife and my kids, which I miss really, really much. So uh, see you guys in the next one. That was a bad one. <laughs>